Now, would you like to tell us who you are and a wee bit about yourself just to start off with, please? I'm an old professional golfer who's played tournament golf for 43 years. My name is Des Smith, if you haven't already guessed. <laughs> and a Ryder Cup how many times? I played on two Ryder Cups way back, uh, both European, and I was vice-captain on two occasions in 06 and 2014. And if I were to ask you to pick out a favourite moment from your involvement with the Ryder Cup, is there one that's one standout memory? Wow, uh, not really. I suppose the one, the one everybody remembers is your very first shot in the Ryder Cup because it's so nerve-wracking. You always remember that. But the whole experience of the Ryder Cup, I enjoyed it as a player, I enjoyed it as a vice-captain, and now I'm working on a little bit of radio. I'm still enjoying it as much as ever. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Sort of three different sort of looks yeah. at this wonderful yeah. event. Yeah, well, if I wasn't involved, I know normally when um, this tournament was on and I had no involvement, I'd sit down on Friday morning and I'd get off my seat on Sunday evening. <laughs> uh, constant supply of tea and biscuits. So, um, what was that first tee shot your most memorable moment? Yeah, think? I suppose it was, yeah. And where was that? Uh, it was in the Greenbrier in West Virginia, back in 1979. And did you smoke it down the middle? I think I did. I can't remember. I just remember it being so nervous. That was the first European team, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah, That was groundbreaking in itself. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. So we weren't as strong then as they are now. We were sort of coming out of the British and Irish thing and yeah. they were trying to make it more competitive and, uh, and, it, and it's worked and it's grown into what it is today. Well, Des, what, in your opinion, is the essence of a good Ryder Cup foursomes pairing? Wow. Um, well, I th you know, getting your point is the most important thing of all, let's face it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's nice if you can uh, be comfortable with your partner and you know how he plays and, and you've, you've had success in the past, so the chances are you'll have success in the future. Um, but it is a very difficult uh, form of golf for the foursomes. Did you have a favourite partner? Not really. Um, I enjoyed playing with all my partners. Um, and I just found the mixing around interesting. But I think they have it down to a finer art now. They do really put in a lot of thought and try to keep guys that have been successful and happy together. Who do you think has been the best Ryder Cup captain? Wow, that's a big question. I think we've had a lot of great captains. I think the beauty of captaincy is they've all got their own style. Uh, there is a bit of a template now because it's got so big and so serious and winning is so important. Um, you know, the job that Paul McGinley did in Scotland uh, in 2014 was, was amazing. And I think he's, he's put a template down for a lot of others to follow now. And do you think it's right that the holders should retain the trophy if it's a tie? Absolutely. You do? Yes, because if you want that trophy, you've got to win it. And although a draw is a very good result for both sides, the people who have had the trophy should retain it. Hmm. Okay, a few I've had a few differing views on that, but it's always interesting, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. I've often felt that it's a little unfair that the holders should essentially start half a point up. Well, they, they don't, but they have to, if you want the trophy, you have to win it. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, finally, do you think the captain's picks are a good thing, Des? Um, I think they have too many now. I, I, I believe in two. Uh, they have three and four, depending on which team. Uh, you know, I really feel if a player has played his way on, he certainly deserves to be there. Um, but it's good to have a few picks um, because there are specialist match players, specialist Ryder Cup players who you know might have just missed out by a small amount and you know you need them on the team. And if you were just to cast your mind back now over all the Ryder Cups you've been involved with, is there one amusing moment that stands out? At least one you can tell us about? Well, there's all sorts of amusing. I mean, it's hard to go into every detail because there's such happy, happy memories. Certainly speaking about myself, I've had so many happy memories and met so many great people along the way. And the beauty of the Ryder Cup is you actually get to know your fellow adversaries, for want of a better word, over the previous two years. And 
for one week you all get together and become really good friends and pull together and work hard to try and win. So, um, yeah, no, I think that's the way I'd view it. Well, Des, thanks very much indeed, and it's great to chat with you when you've been such a part of such a great tournament. Thank you.